hi i know it's been a really long time since i've posted anything um, as you can see mr green behind me is all wrapped up and kind of hibernating uh, between seasons here but it is starting to get cold here in the pacific northwest and the snow is starting to fall up in the mountains so we are anxious to get going on some uh, winter adventures and snowboarding trips in mr green now I have to give a huge uh, amount of props to other YouTubers out there that are able to get content out on a regular basis. I had all these plans to do that, but life just got the best of me and I just wasn't able to keep up with it. I would love to tell you about all the things, the new things that have been going on with me, but that's not what I'm here to do today. Um, so I will save that for another time. If you've watched my other videos, you might remember that I said I had one more area to show you, which is the upper bunkhouse area. It was the last space that I completed, but I never put a video out. And I think this is where um, I started to have a hang up about putting a video out. It, it's such a small space and I didn't know how to make an interesting video of just the bunkhouse. So I kept putting it off and off. And here we are eight months later and I still haven't put a video out. but. I recently thought maybe it'd be interesting to string together a compilation of all of the before and after results that I've completed so far on Mr. Green and then show you the bunkhouse at the very end. So that's what I'm going to do for you today. Be sure to stick around till the end of the video to see the results of the bunkhouse and let me know what you think. So without further ado, let's roll the tapes. <laughs> As promised, let's take a look at the upper bunkhouse. It was actually in really great shape when I first got it. I don't think it was hardly ever used by the previous owners, so it was in pretty pristine condition. Uh, the only issue that I had when I first brought it home was that I had a little bit of an ant problem, but uh, I took care of it uh, early on when I brought it home and haven't seen any ants since. What's funny is that I thought that there was a window in the space. I mean, if you look at the front of it, it seems like there's windows and then they have this curtain, but it's totally fake. It's just a curtain. So I thought that was pretty funny. In the end, I just ended up removing that fake curtain and doing a bunch of cosmetic updates for the space. I started off by doing some sanding to prep the surface for paint. And honestly, the hardest part of this job was really the physical space. It was such a tight, short uh, space, and it was hard to get in the right position some of the times. But luckily, I'm pretty bendy, so I was able to make it work, but it was definitely a challenge. I then added a couple of coats of paint and some wallpaper. Again, trying to do this work in such a limited space where I couldn't 
sit up or stand made it very difficult, but I was eventually able to get this part done. I replaced the curtain rod and made a set of curtains from leftover fabric. I ended up purchasing one set of regular household curtains from Target and I cut it up and made enough curtains for the entire RV, five sets all together. So that ended up being a pretty good deal. I appreciate the use of space by Lazy Days by incorporating this small area it's like a storage um, spot but I just I really don't know what you would store in this space it's just kind of a funky space um, but uh, so we don't really use it but it's a great surface to put things on uh, like your phone or a lamp or things like that the mattress can be folded up to give more room to for the cab, to give more headspace for the cab, but uh, I find that I don't. I, I usually just leave it down uh, because I don't need that space, and it makes it easier to keep the bed made and things like that. But one of the things that I found when you lift this up is that you can't install any shelving up on this blank wall because it would hit it. So I found these really great fold, these little tiny shelves that fold down. I found them on Amazon and they work out really great and allow you to uh, put things on here like a cell phone or like I have a lamp up there. And um, when, if you do need to fold the mattress up, you can easily fold the shelves out of the way. One problem that I noticed is that if the ladder is out, like in the evenings when my daughter needs to get up to the bunkhouse to use if she wanted to lay down, is that it's in the way of the bathroom door here. And, and you had to constantly move the ladder out of the way uh, and then there was really no place to put it. So I installed these really nifty shell uh, hooks, I'm sorry, that they fold up. And so if you're not using them, they fold up and are out of the way, but you can easily fold them down. And the ladder fits perfectly in the space and it just kind of keeps the ladder out of the way when you're not using it. And um, also if you didn't have the ladder on there, there are great hooks to put you know, bags on and things like that. And they're quite, st uh, they're pretty strong. And as you can see, they easily flip up when you don't need them. Okay, so one more time. Here is the before of the bunkhouse. And here's the after. What do you think? staying to the end and watching the whole video. I really appreciate it so much. I have some more videos coming out soon. I don't want to make promises on the timeline of it uh, because I don't want to let you down again, but I do have some more videos coming out soon. So I hope to see you back again. Let me know in the comments if you have any interest in hearing about some of the other things that I've been up to this summer, or if you'd prefer that I just stick with RV renovations and trips that I take in Mr. Green. I would love to tell you about some of the other things that I'm um, excited about and uh, some of the things that I've been up to, but I don't want to bore you if you don't really have any interest in that. Um, but anyway, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, in the meantime, I hope you all are doing well. Thank you so much for continuing to support me. It means so much to me and I appreciate it so much. Happy holidays and uh, pray for snow and I hope to see you again soon. Take care.